The following are a series of examples uh, related to Henry's Law, where the greater the pressure, the more soluble a gas is in water. We know that we need something called a proportionality constant or a Henry's Law constant to make these equations work. So each gas has a unique value, and you'll need to look those up in the previous slide or have your book ready. In this example, it says, what is the pressure of carbon dioxide that's required to keep the molarity of carbon dioxide at 0.12 molar in soda at 25 degrees Celsius? Well, Henry's law says the solubility is equal to K, the proportionality constant, times the partial pressure. So we are given the solubility, the molarity of a, a gas there, 0.12 molar. We look up the proportionality constant specific to carbon dioxide and found that to be 3.4 times 10 to the negative 2. And the unit there is molarity over atmospheres of pressure. Pulling out for solubility, divide by K will be for P. So really is just a plug and chug formula. Solubility set over the proportionality constant cancels the molarity units and it would take 3.5 atmospheres of pressure. So checking out the unit must be correct. Pressure is higher than one atmosphere, meets our expectation for the general experience. So um, in other words, the pressure is high because the uh, solubility is quite high. So 0.12 molar divided by that uh, proportionality constant found us to have 3.5 units. In the next example, on the next slide, it says a little bit further, how many grams of ammonia will dissolve in 0.1 liter of solution if its partial pressure is 7.6? So it's giving us the uh, proportionality constant for ammonia as 58 molar units divided by atmospheres. Solubility is equal to the proportionality constant K times the pressure in an atmosphere unit. Notice that we have to solve for molarity first. And from molarity, we'll be able to convert into moles per liter. And from there, we'll be able to pull out grams. So the target here is solving for solubility first. We now know the volume is 0.1 liter. We know the pressure 7.6 torr. And we know the 58 molar per atmosphere as the K constant for the solubility of ammonia. So what we'll do first is use Henry's Law. We're going to say um, that 7.6 torr must be converted to an atmosphere because the solubility proportionality constant is always in a molarity per atmosphere. And our pressure units must match. So first of all, we need to convert 7.6 torr times a want over given ratio one atmosphere is the same as 760 torr. Those are values of standard pressure. Converting 7.6 torr into an ATM, 0 0.01 atmosphere. Now I have two like units. The pressure, 0 0.01 atmosphere, times that proportionality constant of 58. The atmospheres cancel, and we've determined that answer to be 5.8 times 10 to the negative 1. Hit that on your calculator, it probably says 0.58. Now that we know 0.58 big M molar units, big M is moles per liter. We're going to take molarity times the volume of 0.1 liter. Molarity times volume turns it to a mole. Mole times molar mass pulls out a gram. So the volume of 0.1 liter times the molarity we solve for, 0.58, times the molar mass of 17, and the answer, 0.99 grams of ammonia. Pause the video here and practice that calculation of Henry's Law, pulling out three different possible scenarios. We could solve for solubility. We could solve for molarity. And hidden in molarity is the term mole, and from there, moles per liter could be used to find the grams of our solute.